it's Steph. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm filming my Conmary series um, kimono explanation for you guys. Uh, if you don't know what the Conmary series is, it's my series that I've based around the Marie Kondo book, uh, The Life Changing Magic of Tidying Up. I do have a playlist, I'll link it below. Probably won't, but whatever. Um, excuse the fact that everything around me is kind of chaotic and stuff. I didn't really want to set shit up really so you know you get in real life extension cord and whatever i don't even know if you can see that but anyway so i'm going over the kimono series today i just have the um like the book in front of me obviously so that's all i'm glancing down for let me just pull up the uh kimono section so okay so the kimono is a Japanese term for miscellaneous items and Marie Kondo outlines 10 yeah 10 categories and then you can expand on that if you like so the ones that she gives are CDs and DVDs skincare products makeup accessories valuables electrical equipment and appliances household equipment household supplies kitchen goods and other and then she goes through all the different ones as well. Um, for me, I have broken it up a little bit more specifically than that. So I've done CDs and DVD, or the way I've broken it up, I should say, not I've done, but the way I've broken it up is CDs and DVDs, skincare products, which I did also in my hair care, um, like beauty, skincare, hair care, all sort of in the one, um, the one video. Makeup, I did in makeup and then nail polish as a separate one just because you guys know I have a lot of nail polish um accessories so I did jewelry and then I did my bags because I didn't do my bags or jewelry with my clothes I'm doing them separately uh valuables is its own thing electrical is its own thing excuse me um household equipment so she gives stationery and writing materials sewing kits etc as um the categories, I'm doing all my stationery, all my planner stuff, and all my paper crafting stuff, and all my painting stuff in one category. I think I've just called it paper crafts. I'm not sure. I might split that up a little bit further, but I haven't fully decided yet. Um, but I've got a paper crafts one and then sewing because sewing is my the basis of my business, so I'm keeping it separate as well. Uh, and then household supplies, and she's got expendables, like medicine, detergents, tissues, etc., which I have split into junk drawer, cleaning supply, supplies, and first aid, I think. And then also um, I'm doing linens in that space as well, just because there's not a category for linens. Um, then the next one is kitchen goods or food supplies. Um, so my kitchen I'm doing... I think I've got two videos. Oh, I've got my junk drawer as well. Is that in household supplies? That's either in household equipment or household supplies, one of the two. Um, then kitchen I think is one, maybe two videos. And then other, her examples are spare change, figurines, etc. I have broken this into, let me just, let me tell you specifically what I've broken that into. I know one is um, decor items. Hang on, so I'll, I'm going to, you know what, I'm just going to tell you where all the categories. So for makeup, I've got makeup and nail polish. Accessories, I've got jewellery and bags. Uh, then I've got valuables and electronics. And then, so the next one, her next one is household equipment. I've actually switched them and I'm doing household supplies first. So I've got my junk drawer, my cleaning supplies, my first aid and my linens. Then I'm doing my kitchen. And then I'm coming back to household equipment and I'm doing sewing and then paper crafts and then planning. And then for my other, I've got a home decor section and random just because I've got random tubs and stuff that are just full of crap. So I'm going to go through all of those individually. And then that's the end of my kimono section. So why am I getting rid of the book? What? Um, yeah, so that's what I'm doing for kimono. Um, now, types, common types of kimono. She's got as one of her little headings there. Uh, disposables, which are gifts, cosmetic samples saved for trips, electronic packages, unidentified cords, broken appliances, bedding for the guest who never comes, spare buttons, products from the latest health craze, and free novelty goods. 
and then she has a section on small change and that's really sort of it that she's got for kimono because really kimono is one of those things that you sort of have to go through on your own because you know what's going to be sentimental to you and what's not it's the same with everything really but because these sorts of things are a little bit more can be a little bit more specific for people um i mean you know let's let's use a um Oh, I don't know. So you've got two um, Kmart sets of sheets and then you've got a 2,000 thread count Egyptian cotton. I don't even know if that's a thing, but we're just going to make it one. Uh, and you love the Egyptian cotton sheets, but you don't like the other ones and you never use them, get rid of them. But, you know, not everyone's going to have 2,000 thread count um, Egyptian cotton sheets, you know, like not everybody has that. Some people do only have the Kmart ones and in that case you just pick what you like better. Maybe it's the colour, you know, like it's got to be stuff that's really sparks joy personally for you and if it doesn't, then, yeah, you know, issues. Um, there's really not a ton to say on the kimono section. Um, I mean, you know, it's... You're going through your stuff. Like, how hard can it be, really? Um, so, yeah. <laughs> Basically, what I've sort of done with my kimono section, or what I'm doing with... Oh, I need to stop saying what I've done, because I haven't done it yet. <sighs> okay, what I'm doing with my kimono section is similar to what I've done... There we go, with the other three sections that I've already completed, those being clothes, books, and paper. Um, I'm going into it with the mindset that I want to get rid of stuff. Um, I need to get rid of stuff, just get it out, you know. Um, going into, the, into this with that mindset. And I've also got game plans for everything. So the first one, for example, that you're going to see is my CDs and DVDs. I don't want to purge my DVDs because I do watch just about every DVD that I have. I flick through them, I, you know, change it up from time to time. I do obviously have some that I favour more than others, but I watch absolutely every DVD that I own. And I own about 150. I like movies, what can I say? Anyway, I don't actually keep them in their cases. I keep them in, like, um, those, like, CD binder things. I keep them in them. So it's really pointless for me to have a... Uh, like a big pile of DVD cases. So for my purge and getting rid of the DVD cases, do you know what I mean? Like I've got game plans for these things and I know what I want to achieve. So yeah. Um, and I feel like if that's the mindset that you're doing this entire process with, then you're going to succeed. Like really, um, you're going to succeed and you're going to do well. And that's sort of what you want to have happen. So yeah, I think that might be it for this video. Stay tuned for my CD and DVD purge. Don't forget to check the description box below for all my links for absolutely everything. I'm not going to give you guys the same tired spiel that I always give. Thumbs up this video if, you're, if you like it. Comment below what your challenges with Comoria are going to be. Open the description box. Subscribe so you don't miss any of my videos. Keep your eye out for my CDs and DVDs and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!